That's a funny walk. That's the only way you can build riches. There's no other way. Forget the lotto. Forget, forget the inheritance of, uh, from your father, from your grandfather. From, forget about that. That's not going to happen. Your salary is the only way. So get rid of all that BS. A lesson for you as human being. You will work for your food. Our visitor. Beautiful, huh? It's 9 p.m. You want to enter into a contract? 84 months, sometimes 96 months with a balloon payment to buy to buy your car of your dreams? Are you out of your mind? And this is the chalets here at Punda Maria. You can see it's a very old camp, huh? Good morning, it's early morning and it's overcast and during the night we had a few drops of rain. Two days ago it was 42, yesterday it was 24 and today is even a lower temperature. Can you believe it here in the bushveld of South Africa, the most northern part of the Kruger Park? And um, it is a Sunday today, is it? No man, it's when Tuesday. It's Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday, but it's uh... Saturday. <laughs> Saturday. <laughs> We're going to a very special spot today. It's about 60 kilometers from our camp. Don't tell more. And uh, don't tell more, not yet. This is what the lady from the church is saying. I shouldn't tell more. Tani from the church, read for us. What is that plague saying about this Buhabab? Uh, Buhabab Hill, in the period 1919 to 1927, black workers were recruited in Mozambique for the rand gold mine transported on foot by donkey cart or ox wagon from Pafuri to Supercar. This was the first outspan on their journey. Another special sighting. The southern ground hornbill. Highly endangered. Yesterday we also saw two males and a female. Looking for food, eh? there's got something. I can hear them talking.
And look at that dung beetles. Yes, it's dung, but it's their food. And they're working hard. Hard to provide for their families. Come on, come on, go for it. Don't be afraid. That's a funny walk. And this area is very famous for its big elephant bulls. Look at the head. All the cavities. Lazy. The resting is trunk. A buffalo is quite a big animal. Now there is the comparison. One ton versus seven ton each. Okay, this is a censored part. Look at the tusks the tusks and then of course the sensor part how his trunk is resting on his one of his tusks Although you might alight from your vehicle on this bridge at your own risk. Be careful. Be careful. There I can see him. There I can see him. Just, just where I'm pointing. Just on the, inside the tree. And this is the other side of the, the Levuvu River. Interesting how the nature is changing, huh? Look at all the old dead trees. Look at that dead tree. And it looks to me if this tree is also dying. What type of tree are you in your organization? The dead trees, the dead wood that I showed you now in the river? Or are you fruit bearing, adding value? Like this one. Wake up, wake up. Let's call the subject 84. You want to enter into a contract 84 months, sometimes 96 months with a balloon payment to buy, to buy your car of your dreams? Since when do you need a 170 kilowatt, a 200 kilowatt bucky to do what with? To, do, to tow a caravan? To travel to work every day? Are you out of your mind? Or are you a baboon in your organization? Big noise, destructive, or do you add value? These guys is planting nothing, adding no value. Living from somebody else's fruit. And making a hell of a noise. Even the small ones. How did, you taught, how did you teach your children to be the same? I have a 12 year old vehicle. Those days it was 36 months maximum, plus 25% deposit. What are you doing with your salary? Only one way to provide to your family and to ensure retirement. And that is your monthly salary. Is your month, monthly salary is spent by the 5th or the 6th of the month? And you live on your credit cards? And next month your balance on your credit card is a bigger negative? And you call this life? There's only one way and that is your salary. If you do not start saving now. 
you are in big trouble. 90% of the world cannot afford to retire. Because your 90% is keeping the wheels running of all these big corporate worlds. They are showing you every night on TV, on, on social media, the advertisements and it's... You cannot live without this 2 million, 3 million BMW, oh, sorry. You drive that expensive car and, you, and the house you're staying in is, is rented. Only your salary can ensure a good retirement. That's the only way you can build riches. There's no other way. Forget the lotto. Forget, forget the inheritance of, uh, from your father, from your grandfather. From, forget about that. That's not going to happen. Your salary is the only way. So get rid of all that BS. That motorcycle standing in your garage. That uh, expensive boat which you impress your friends with. Your damn baboon. Well, this is the Pafuri region of the Kruger National Park and a beautiful area. And this is the most northern um, corner boundary of the Kruger Park. We are from home, let me see, yeah, 800, 850 kilometers from home. As you uh, can recall just now, we crossed the Levuvu River. And this area is well known for its Nyala, the uh, Kudu, the Bosbok, Bushbak, the uh, Eland, the biggest uh, antelope. That is this area. And then, of course, the high concentration of elephants. And there must be the lions. If there is uh, food, there will be predators. Where we're gonna make breakfast and then we will enter into the fever tree forest a lot of history in this area it's already 10 30. we have not decided what day it is which day of the week tuesday, tuesday not sunday okay tuesday i'll i'll settle for that let me show you where we're at. This is the Pafuri stop where you can have breakfast, tea. Look here. Preparing for breakfast. That's the gas pry we rented this morning. We brought our own one. Not a lot of people, so it's easy. And this is the Levuvu River. But there's still a big secret coming up. And look at the beautiful trees. Huh? Massive trees.
Well, we really enjoyed our breakfast here between this mass of trees, lead wood, wild fig. Now we're going to read some something about Pafuri, the Pafuri area, the history. This represents, resembles the type of building in this area. From as, let me get the dates again, just a minute, just a minute. There it is, Great Zimbabwe, 1350 AD. The Muslim trade dominated the Indian Ocean trade after the 8th century AD up to the 9th century. So this was the Muslim trade between India, China, Muslim organized or ru uh, ruled this trade and then from from Mozambique into into central uh, southern Africa very old history and you thought and you thought South Africa is uh, young I, I thought so myself it's only the cities the western influence is young but Africa Africa is old <coughs> You'll see now on the GoPro as we drive through the bush. You'll see the uh, beautiful uh, fever trees, the fever bush. And then we will stop at a spot called Crook's Corner. Now that is interesting. Now enter the fever. Um, Fever tree bush, well known in South Africa. Some or other pest or sickness that is killing this fever trees. If I look in the right, I can see a lot lying in the field right in front of us. Is this fever trees? Now that has a history uh, or a belief many many years ago. People uh, died here. Uh, there. Their, their livestock died and they moved out they couldn't farm here anymore uh, and they believe it was the fever tree but it is not the fever tree it was the malaria tsetse and the malaria brought under control and nowadays we can enjoy this beautiful area it is amazing right behind us now is uh, for three or four kilometer behind us is the border post into Mozambique, the Pafuri uh, border post. And uh, this is the last few kilometers to uh, the special place I want to show you, the, more, the most northeastern corner of South Africa. And it's called Crook's Corner. Now, when we are there, I want to talk to the men. Women, you should close your eyes and children should go to bed. Because this is serious stuff, I want to talk to you. Now, a few, a few minutes later, children should be in their beds now, playing with their phones. That's the most uh, important uh, tool nowadays for children. And women, I said close your eyes, I meant close your ears. Gentlemen, we want to talk about, about crook. Are you a damn crook? What do I mean? Are you crooking your family, your friends? You will pay the price, sir. You will pay the price. Wait, let me here get to Crook's Corner and then we'll talk. Here's a picture of the Tani from the church and myself at Crook's Corner. And let us read uh, Crook's Corner. Physical description called the Haven of Scoundrels. Crooks, huh? This area takes visitors back in the time when Crooks Corner was no man's land on the boundary where three countries come together. I'll show you the countries now. This triangular piece of land situated between the Levuvu and the Limpupu rivers is the most northeasterly 
corner of the Old Transvaal, now the Limpopo province. The area now falls under the jurisdiction of Chief, Chief Makuleke. Really? Who is that? Since 1930, the Levuvu River acted as the north, northernmost boundary of the Creer National Park, where it joined the mighty Limpopo River. The Limpopo was the boundary between Transvaal and in South Africa and Southern Rhodesia, now called Zimbabwe. The co-influence of the two rivers also formed a natural corner between the two countries and the Portuguese. This is the Levuvu River. That is the Limpopo River, which is dry now. Maybe there's some water on that side. On the right hand side there, it's now Mozambique. Mozambique. And then when we turn and pointing in this direction, that is the borderline between Mozambique on the right hand side and Zimbabwe on the left hand side. And we stand in South Africa. This is called the sausage tree. Okay, see the fruit? If that fruit ends up in your car, you're going to the panel beaters. Either replacing your wind, windshield or have some body damage to repair. That's heavy stuff and that's hard. And how do you have to do it? With your salary. Where else would you get money? Your credit card? Are you crazy? So my good friend, you have all your lies. Remember the ladies should have their ears closed. We men lie about three things. Salary, wealth. We lie through our teeth. And then our vehicle. Our car, our bucky, our SUV, our 4x4, our sports car. The fuel consumption and the performance. That's the second biggest lie. And then the third. It's about your sex drive. Your, how man, manly you are. Why do you not talk about retirement? Why do you not start preparing, start collecting information from, from knowledgeable people about retirement? Why don't you start saving? Why do you work your ass off and by the 5, 6, 7, 10th of the month, your salary is all spent and you have nothing, nothing left? How long do you think you will have until retirement? Wait, 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 let me first look at these animals, then I'll get back to you. And that's a baboon. Drinking water here in a dry river bed. Yeah, the subject is uh, sex. <laughs> no, it's retirement. The one that you don't want to talk about. How old should you be to start for retirement? Let me give you the answer. Kijk waar zit ons. Ja, ho, 
Your next question is how much money do you need? The four and a half percent rule is what you have to remember. My foot a loop now wanting the maraha was that do. My foot a loop now wanting the maraha was that do. My foot a loop now wanting the maraha was that do. My foot a loop now wanting the maraha was that do. Well, if you think I'm talking from from a point of view where I've inherited, yes, I have inherited from my grandfather six steak knives. I've inherited from my father and my mother. <laughs> my father died when I was 12. My mother was an invalid. <laughs> 